In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to create a very basic layout using just a couple of the basic functions of Pixel Creator Pro. So the first thing we're going to do here is come into uh, Pixel Creator Pro and click on the Create New Document button. And we'll do a 24 by 24 document. And go ahead and click OK. And that just creates us a blank page. So what we're doing is defining the size of the layout first. Then what we'll do is we'll come in here to Adobe Bridge and let's browse to the templates that come with Pixel Creator Pro. So I actually have a shortcut to those templates already created, but if you don't already have a shortcut here in your favorites tab, what you would do is go to your computer, Macintosh hard drive, applications, and then we would scroll down to our Pixel Creator Pro 5 directory. And in there, there's a folder called templates. Now, some of you may not have a folder called templates, and that's because the templates and photo edges folders are installed separately. So if you don't see a templates folder, it's not because there's some mistake, it's because simply you don't have them installed. So you would want to refer to your download instructions uh, for the link to download the templates and photo edges. So once we open up our templates folder, you can see there are many categories to choose from. But I do want to uh, point out the Productivity Suite templates. If you have the Productivity Suite, uh, you'll find a folder called the Productivity Suite Templates. And we open that up. And in there, there are several different layouts um, that it revolve around the Productivity Suite. But the first one being Auto Collage. Now, in each of these categories, you see they say 8x10, 10x20, 11x14, 16x20, Designer, and Square. Now, the layout that we happen to be creating happens to be square. So we'll probably choose a template from the square category. That said, we could choose any one of the categories here. Even though an 8x10 is not square or 16x20 is not perfectly square, we could use one of those templates because every layout will automatically scale to whatever size blank document we have in Photoshop. So that I just want to point that out. So when I come into my square templates here, you can see there are several different categories of square templates, ranging from 12 images all the way up to 20 images. Now, the layout that I happen to want to build, I want to contain seven images. Uh, so I would come into my smallest folder, 12 images, and start there. So what we're going to do here is find a template that we like and simply double click on the template here in Adobe Bridge and then switch back over to Photoshop and you can see that template being built for us. Now once the template is built it's going to ask us if we want to insert images. Now if we're using Pixel Creator Pro almost always we're going to choose no in this category because especially in this case is because we need to modify the layout. So what I have here is a template with 12 images that I need to minimize to a template with only 7 images. So what we're going to do here is we're going to click on this. When I'm in the Move tool, we want to make sure that the Auto Select Layer option is chosen here in Photoshop. Just that little checkbox. I'm going to click on this topmost left image opening. And when I have a layer selected, I can pull down a guideline from my ruler. If your rulers aren't visible, simply Command-R will turn your rulers on and off. Also, under the View menu, uh, you can turn your rulers on and off that way as well. But with that layer selected, I can pull down a guideline and snap right to the top of that image opening. And then I simply hit the delete key. And then I can take this image opening directly below it and hit Command T, which is free transform. We could also use the edit menu in Photoshop to access free transform. And that just stretches that image opening up. And I would continue basically the same process until I have my layout whittled down to seven image openings. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to come over here and snap right to the side of that image opening, then delete that one, and then take this one and just stretch it over. Something like so. So I have one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to take these two, and that's going to make six and seven for me. So we'll go ahead and stretch this guideline down, snapping to the bottom, and then I'll take these two layers and I'll stretch them both. Command T and stretch them both at the same time. Okay, so now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven image openings 
just what we're looking for. Now it's just a matter of selecting the image opening that we want to populate and then I'm going to come back in here to Adobe Bridge. I'm going to browse to a folder of images which I've already predefined here in Adobe Bridge and then I simply select my image here in Adobe Bridge, switch back over to Photoshop and then in Pixel Creator Pro choose Insert Photo. And it really is just that simple. I just sit and wait, let Pixel Creator Pro do its thing and in comes my image and then I can reposition that image into the window just exactly the way I want it to. Now I can also select more than one image at a time. So I'm going to select these two images here on the bottom. So I just click on the first image opening, hold my shift key and click on the second one. You can see in the layers palette these two layers are highlighted in a light blue. That indicates that those two layers are selected. So now when I come in here and choose an image, let's see here. Let's go with this one and this one. Again, I selected one image, hold down to my command key, selected the second one. And then when I come back in here to Pixel Creator, I can choose Insert Photo again. And automatically, the first image I selected in Bridge will be dropped into my first image opening. And then it will automatically move on to the next image opening. And again, every time I insert an image, it's going to pause, allow me to reposition the image within the image opening. And that's really all there is to it. So I would continue the process until the entire layout was filled with the images I want to use. Thanks for watching.